Hey everybody, it's me Paid for Paid Lifts. Today we're doing something very special. You guys have waited six months for this, okay? Here is the six month progress update on me taking creatine. All right, so December 30th, 2020, I started taking creatine. It's the first time I ever took creatine. I have not taken creatine in my, what, seven years of lifting. All right, I started lifting when I was like 14 or 15. Got serious about it when I was 16, I'm 23 now. So in my seven plus years of lifting, I have never taken creatine. And December 30th, 2020, I started taking it. Today is July 4th when I'm filming this. Happy Independence Day. Hope you guys had a great July 4th. Um, but I took my, my measurements and stuff down. I took that on uh, June 30th of 2021. So I'm gonna share those results with you guys right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the measurements up on screen and we're going to review them. You guys can pause if you wanna take a second and look over them yourself. But I have been using the Eero Smart Scale uh, for the last like two years or so. Um, so when I started off, on creatine December 30th, 2020, my weight was 173.4. It's fluctuating between like 173 or 170. Uh, you know, pretty hard to keep that weight up for me for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, just, I always felt full and I couldn't seem to gain the weight that I wanted to gain. Um, now, when I took it a few days ago, it was 184.2 and that was actually kind of low. I usually, when I wake up, like for the last month or so, it's been like 186. I just didn't eat that much the night before. Uh, or something must have happened along those lines. Um, my body fat percentage when I started was 12.1 and now it's 13.3, which is just fine because not only did I start taking creatine, but I started on a bulk as well. Uh, so that was that's okay with me. Um, I'm gonna cut down within the next few months and I'm sure it'll go even below 12.1%, which is what it was before I started taking creatine. All right, so taking creatine does not automatically mean that you're gonna gain more fat. Um, I attribute the 1% gain in fat, I attribute that to being on a bulk. All right, so next thing we're gonna look at is muscle mass. It's gone from 144.8 pounds to 151.8 pounds. That is a seven pound difference in six months, okay? That is fantastic, all right? Because you know, if, if I was in my first year or two of training, that would be nothing surprising. Uh, you know, first year or two of taking weight training seriously. Um, that happens to people all the time. They call it newbie gains, you know, but I've been training for seven years and this is, you know, this is the most, this is the third most significant gain in muscle I've ever had, okay? The first significant gain in muscle was when I was in my beginning stages of working out and I had those newbie gains, like I said. The second one was when I had gotten off of chemotherapy. I lost 40 pounds, I was skin and bones, you know, I was like very undernourished and stuff like that because I'd been on chemotherapy and then I gained it all back in like six months, okay? And the third, significant gain in muscle mass is this right here because I have never, aside from those two times, I have never gained uh, seven pounds of muscle in just six months, okay? So that's a very significant jump for someone like me. All right, so if you know my style of training, you'll know that I consider myself to be a power builder with a focus on bodybuilding, which means that I care more about how much muscle I have, but I don't mind lifting heavy stuff. So bench press, deadlift, squat, I love doing all of that. Uh, so, um, since the last video that I made, the three month update, my squat has not gone up that much. Um, I don't remember what all the stats were. Uh, my squat and deadlift haven't gone up that much because my main focus has been, or my focus in that area has been on um, building strength in my knees and my lower back because I'm coming off of an injury there. So when my squat went from 315 to 355 in just three months, um, because of the creatine, I'd like to say, uh, when, it went, when, it went, when it jumped that high, um, I put a lot of pressure on my knees and I started to see that there were some issues that were going to form if I did not step back a little bit. So since then, I've only gone up 10 pounds, I've gone to 365 pounds, so I can squat a whole year now, which is fantastic. Uh, and I've just been, I haven't been doing any one rep maxes in a while. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I'm building strength on my knees first before I try to build strength on my squat. Same thing with my deadlift. Like I said, I had a knee and a back injury last year that I've recovered from. Uh, so since the last video I made, I believe my squat, my sorry, my deadlift was 365 pounds. Now it's 385 pounds. Uh, I need to work on my form, and again, I need to work on strengthening my lower back to make sure I prevent injury. Because you know, no matter how much you lift, if you injure yourself, you're not going to be lifting much more, or you're going to have a lot of problems with your older, which is what I'm trying to prevent. So I've, you know, I've just gone to 385 and I think I could go higher. Uh, I will go higher at some point, 
right now I'm just focusing on, you know, building strength. And also like my, right now my main focus is building muscle while I'm on the street, teen and bulking. All right, now my bench press, that's a different story. Since the last video I made, I think it was 295. Now it's 315. On my birthday, I had 315 pounds. And I think I am due to go for 325. So keep an eye on my Instagram and TikTok. Uh, I'll put it up there if I do go for 325 pounds, but 315 pounds, three plates on each side, that is a very significant number for me. Uh, it's just one of those things like when you bench 225, squat 225, something along those lines, it's just really cool to see all those plates on there. So um, I was that was the main thing I wanted to do this year was bench 315 pounds. So even if I stopped there, I'd be satisfied, but I'm not satisfied. So I'm just gonna keep pushing forward and get to that 325 pounds because my upper body has never had any problems. That always seems to be a place that manages to avoid injuries. So as long as I can continue to avoid injuries in that area, I'm gonna keep pushing. And um, actually, you know what, screw it. Next time I'm with my workout buddy on chest day, I'm gonna hit 325 pounds. Now one rumored benefit of creatine is that it makes you sharper and gives you more energy and stuff like that. Um, I have been working full time and I do a lot of other stuff on the side and working out eight hours a week. So I can't say that I have more energy. Uh, my work schedule definitely increased um, around the same time that I started taking creatine. So I haven't noticed a significant change in energy levels. Um, I definitely don't get as much sleep now but that has nothing to do with creatine. Uh, that's just a personal issue that I need to resolve. Now in terms of mental clarity and mental sharpness, creatine supposedly helps you uh, improve in those areas. And I can definitely say that I have seen a lot of improvements in those areas in the last six months since I've started taking creatine. However, uh, I can't solely give credit to creatine for that and I can't say that it has contributed at all because um, you know, at the beginning of the year, I started taking a lot of steps to really better myself. Like um, I've started reading more books, I've started even doing crazy stuff like going to the sauna two or three times a week at the gym, uh, I've started listening to podcasts a lot more, I've just started you know, taking on new mindsets and trying to uh, improve myself in those areas as well. And so I can't you know, just say that it was all creatine or that creatine even helped a little bit because I wouldn't notice. So. Uh, research has, so, has shown that creatine will help with your mental clarity and mental sharpness, uh, but just because it does that doesn't mean I'm going to say it does that for me. Uh, so I don't want to give 100% credit to creatine, but I will say that I'm open to the possibility that it did help me in those areas. Now you might be asking the question of would I recommend creatine for people out there that are watching this video? And I will make a separate video soon about who should be taking creatine. I promise you guys I will do that. I'll put it on my to-do list. All right, and it'll come in the next few weeks. Um, but I can say that for me personally, if you're in my situation, it has been very beneficial. Now, is it necessary? Absolutely not. I did fantastic before I gained creatine, before I started taking creatine, all right? As you saw, I've only gained seven pounds of muscle out of 151 pounds of muscle that I have in my body, okay? So, uh, again, it's not 100% necessary, but it is very beneficial for some people like me. So I'll make a video on who should take it and who shouldn't. Um, you know, creatine is the most researched fitness supplement, and I can say without a shadow of a doubt, I am very impressed by the results that I've had. I'm, I will be taking it forever, okay? I'm never gonna stop taking it. In fact, it's really crazy. Um, you know, everyone's forgetful, okay? And other supplements I've taken, and even other supplements that I'm taking right now, I forget to take them sometimes. But somehow, uh, creatine, I have not, in six months, I have not missed one day of creatine. Like, I went on a vacation, guess what I did? I took the creatine with me, and I, and I was taking it while I was on vacation. A little extra, maybe, sneaking a white powder through the airport, but I did it anyways. All right, so something very important that I want to emphasize here is please do not use my videos as the only reason to take creatine. Um, please go look at what experts are saying. I'm not an expert. I'm a certified personal trainer, which is fantastic and does give me a little bit of background in this, but not everything. I'm not a nutrition expert or I don't have a degree in sports medicine or you know uh, supplements or anything like that. Um, so please do your own research. Creatine, once again, is the most researched fitness supplement out there. So please take advantage of that because I'm just using myself as an example here. I'm a 23 year old healthy male and you might not be in the exact same situation. Uh, there might be certain conditions or disorders that creatine is not compatible with. I don't know. Please do your own research, like I said. And with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I seriously appreciate each and every single one of you guys. If you want coaching, a workout program, or a fitness program as well, all for great prices, 
Um, my email and all my other social media are in the description below. So even if you're not interested in that, check out my other social medias. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter even, even though Twitter's lame. Um, and I'm still on YouTube here as well. Please like and subscribe and comment on my videos. I seriously appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I will see you guys next time with some cool videos, all right? I'm about to start borrowing my friend's studio that he films videos in. So I got some good things coming. I'm writing out some scripts right now, some crazy video ideas that I have. Anyways, I'll stop rambling and I'll just show you guys, all right? I'll see you later. Have a great day.